Hello, you wonderful people out there, and yes, we are back once again. We started off with the Glorious Domination because I felt that this round really deserved it. We haven't heard the Glorious Domination theme for quite some time now, and we yes, we have rolled back all the way to the beginning we with The Locust. Uh, in particular, this is the Seven Victor, as the title will have already sort of spoiled for you. So what is the Seven Victor? Well, it is a late era model, still built by Bergen Industries, the original uh, creator of the Locust chassis of Battlemax. The Seven Victor is a late 3070s model that utilizes a pair of magshot gauss rifles and a medium X pulse laser. Now, the build is also supposed to use heavy ferrofibrous, but that's not actually available in MWO. And you can kind of say that it's got heavy ferro with skills for the armor and gear like that to give it more protection. It's it's not a big difference with the speed buffs and everything else as well. This thing goes way beyond the actual written speed of the uh, Locust uh, 7 Victor, which is already supposed to be quite fast at 150 kph. Uh, this thing can run a hell of a lot faster. Uh, it's basically the two magshot gauss rifles, I think, with a ton each. Uh, the double heat sinks are required to stop the game from bitching out you from not having enough heat sinks. And the medium X pulse laser. And you know what? The build is good. The build is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I uh, actually enjoyed running this. Uh, the big difference, obviously, is if you have been playing, you know. But if you, for those who haven't played for a while and don't know, magshot gauss rifles uh, are a Solaris Arena. Uh, weapon creation originally and they sort of began to filter out into the major sort of uh, weapons manufacturers of the inner sphere uh, afterwards uh, with uh, some of the other companies starting to make more military versions the basic idea is that they are small uh, gauss rifle equipment that can be placed onto light mechs and uh, some lighter vehicles at the expense of very little damage but high rate of fire uh, these things are about two damage a piece. Now, in MWO, they do exact same damage. However, they have no charge time. You just click and they fire, and their cycle time is really fast. Coupled with MWO's um, ammunition skills to give you more ammo per ton, and the fact that the game just gives you way more ammo than you normally get on the tabletop, uh, yeah, Magshot Gauss Rifles are fantastically powerful. Uh, coupled with a medium X pulse laser that you just hold the trigger down and you've already got pretty decent heat dissipation I mean that's the only heat uh, generating weapon of the entire build and you've got a phenomenally good locust coupled obviously with the fact that light mechs in MWO tend to take a lot more hits because they're smaller targets they have a few hit detection issues let's say combined with uh, obviously the ability to just do lots of rapid DPS the Locust 7 Victor is well worth trying out, in my opinion. It's dead cheap. You just buy a 1V if you haven't got one already, and the equipment isn't that expensive either. I think it's a light engine I put into this, which is, uh, which fits because it is supposed to be a standard light engine that goes in this, rather than a, a regular engine on an XL. So even if you lose a side torso, you're not going to die instantly, and you still keep about two-thirds of your firepower anyway, provided you don't put your ammo in one torso. And that's it. It's actually really, really good. Uh, coupled with the Royal version of the Locust, two, these are probably my two favorite builds to run in MWO, uh, as far as Locusts go, because, yeah, they, they've just got nice and simple point-and-click mechanics. You don't have to think too hard about it, you just need to aim, which, yes, I know I'm not very good at the whole aiming thing in MWO. I've never been very good with that. I just like to hit the target and, you know, hope for the best. But for those of you who are obviously a bit more of a crack shot and know the sort of locations to aim for on most opponents, you know, the pair of mag shots are going to do you wonders, especially when you get into those juicy rear areas of enemy mechs and then start pumping in the damage. As you can see, obviously the, the Gauss Rifles don't do a huge amount of damage, but it's the rate of fire of this build is what's really selling it. it it's just staggeringly uh, fucking deadly <laughs> as far as the rounds uh, go. And when you factor in that this is a 20-ton light, that is capable of doing a pretty decent amount of damage for weapons that on their own don't do a huge amount of damage uh, even on tabletop, I mean these are two, the mag shots are two damage each coupled with uh, the X pulse laser which I know in MWO it does a kind of reduced overall medium pulse laser damage but per pulse obviously it's a lot, it stacks up a lot quicker if you're accurate with your shots so X pulse lasers can in theory do more damage, I think the X pulses suffer a bit in this game because of the again the hit detection issue with the server being able to register the hits. 
Uh, I'm sure there's some um, finagling going on to kind of make it look like every shot hits, but it's probably like every second or third one is actually applying damage, something along those lines. But uh, yeah, that as you can see, uh, I, my damage isn't that bad. Fair enough, I didn't get targeted very often. I was lucky in that one. But, I, well actually I did. I got shot by that stone run that had four LB20s and I didn't die, even though realistically a locust should get completely shredded, Swiss cheesed even, by um, a shot like that. But yeah, that's what this game does. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're up to the last one. The last poor bastard that's in, uh, in his uh, vulture there. And I think, I, yeah, I nabbed the kill at the end. Do the dance. The victory dance. Uh, yeah, so uh, Locust 7 Victor, well worth it, well worth it lads, pick it up, go get it, get out there, buy yourself a Locust, if you haven't already, try it out, it's a fun mech, and uh, other than that, I'll see you all next time, have a good one, thanks for joining, as always, and uh, yeah, have a good one, bye!